So, got this thing. It won't go up or down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these uh, two screws out, take it out, and try to see why this thing looks like it's stuck. Uh, I can lift it up or put it down. It's pretty much stuck in one place. So using a Phillips screwdriver, I'm going to take down out these two screws. Just got this replaced like maybe five years ago. Um, didn't use it that much. Go to the gym and use uh, the shower over there. But all of a sudden, this COVID hit where the gym shut down, start using it, and uh, realize that this drain doesn't work. So let's check it out. Okay, it's a long screw. Make sure you have the screen on, otherwise the screw's gonna fall in there. Okay, I'm gonna put my camera down, see if I can lift this thing out of there. So I got this thing stuck really good, okay, but it's stuck in the open position. I just can't move the valve, okay? So, right now, you know, uh, Home Depot is closed, so what I did is I put four cup of vinegar into this uh, pot here, and I boil it, and I pour it in, okay? I pour hot vinegar in there, and and then I leave it there for about a uh, couple minutes, good five minutes, and then and then I take this, this is a uh, extension, okay? Uh, long extension. What I do is I push this thing, put it right there, and I just push it down. And then once I feel it going down like that, I know I'm getting somewhere. And then I just yank it up, you know, and then push it down, yank it up, push it down. And now it's the whole thing coming out, okay? So I guess the trick is you can use, you know, I, I use boy vinegar. I put four cups in there. I boil it up so it's hot, and I pour it in there, okay? Um, that's how I was able to get this thing out because this thing was stuck, okay? So now what I do is I'm going to clean this up, clean this up real good, and uh, um, I guess uh, tomorrow when uh, Home Depot open, uh, I'm going to use uh, plumber grease um, to lubricate this thing, okay? But that is the hardest part because, uh, because this thing got stuck in there. And I got no clue. Um, I tried WD-40, didn't work. So uh, I remember my kid told me that uh, remove uh, rust, uh, she used boy vinegar. So I tried that. Uh, I thought that uh, it's not going to work. Uh, but apparently it's working. So I was able to remove this out. Okay. So that's what's going on. I'm going to... I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna dip this, uh, clean this up, and dip it in uh, vinegar overnight. And uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna get some uh, plumber grease and, uh, you know, um, lubricate that and then put them back in, okay? So, uh, I went to Home Depot this morning and I got that right there, okay? There's a, um, this one is a waterproof grease. The other one, I forgot the name of it, but uh, using the same thing, okay? So I'm gonna use this to lubricate this brass area right here. And then I'm gonna use this, uh, I just happen to have this uh, motor coat, uh, all-purpose spray. Uh, I'm gonna spray, you know, in this part area here, okay? To lubricate, because this look like it may have brass, so you don't take care of this, it's gonna rust, okay? so. For this link right here, I'm going to use uh, the motor coat, uh, all-purpose spray. And then for this one right here, I'm going to lubricate uh, both the outside and the inside uh, of this thing. Okay. Uh, the only thing I noticed is that nut was all the way down here. So I guess when you flip the switch, 
and this thing turn okay uh, but um, there is a mark on here that that uh, that when I tie the nut up you know there's you look I don't know if it's showing the camera but it looked like the mark is right there right I don't know if you see where the thread is at so I'm gonna tie this up and um, on this side what I use in this uh, aquarium air hose after I spray it down, I'm going to put this cap on here to prevent this thing from turning. Because if this thing turns all the way and uh, happen is that this thing may drop, okay, then, you know, next time it will be harder. So, um, I'm going to put the uh, air hose on like that after I lubricate uh, these thread, okay. okay. Another piece I took out for cleaning is this piece right here. Okay, that piece will hold your uh, piping onto the tub. So it's really important you put this back. I didn't even have to screw it uh, in or out, okay? When I uh, took it out for cleaning, I noticed this thing is just hanging there. So I'm just going to put this thing back like so, okay? Of course, it's, it's made out of brass, so lubricate them. All right okay so now i'm ready now uh, this thing here when the contractor replace it with this new valve here uh, fortunately the uh, outline here on the new valve is smaller than the original the original is all the way out here okay so that was an old uh, you know 1950 type of uh, fixture compared to now you know now it's so Look like in the end, uh, when I done, I have to use some kind of white silicone, put it around here to cover up that uh, imperfection, okay? So, there it is, okay? I lubricate that with uh, this uh, waterproof grease. And I spray the rest of these linkage with the um, motor coat. And that one right there, that's what I'm talking about, the uh, the line. Just use the uh, aquarium uh, uh, air, um, air hose, okay? And I'm gonna see if I can tie this one up because I might, I might have to adjust this based on what I see. I don't know, but I'm gonna leave it right there for for now. If everything worked great, then I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna tighten this up, okay? So let's see. And then when this, when you installed it, you notice that the smooth side here go on top. The one that have this little gap right here and right here, those are, I guess, air vent. So it's going on the bottom like that, okay? So let's slide this thing in. Okay. There it is. And slide in like so. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to align the two screw and I'm going to put the two screw in. And I'm going to test to see if I need to adjust the linkage, okay? Okay, so when you're working with the screw, uh, make sure you put the screen on. I, I use this for training purpose. Uh, as you can see, without the screen, the screw might fall in there, and then you're going to waste time trying to get it out, okay? So make sure the screen back on. What I'm going to do, I'm going to align this in there and align the screw hole. I don't know if it's so good on the camera, but there's a screw hole that I tried to align this in. Okay, looks like it's inside, I can't pull them out. Now you go with this screw, and you align it on the hole on this side. So, look like going in because I can't pull them back out, um, straight out, okay? Alright, so I'm going to use two hands, I'm going to line this up, and I'm going to tighten down the, the two screw. So, there it is, okay? The two screw is in. Um, the valve move very smoothly, okay? Remember before it's stuck in uh, the down position, which is... Um, but it's a good thing when it's stuck in a down position like this because... Um, you know, back there, it's like a seesaw. So when this switch go down, it's push the thing up. 
So the uh, I'm gonna call that little brass thing a plunger, okay? Uh, it's it's lift up, so I don't have drainage problem, okay? Now if it's stuck in the up position like this, that means that uh, that plunger is all the way down, and it block the water from draining out, um, and that's probably why uh, why I didn't fix it at first when I discovered it, okay? Because it's stuck in that down position, and I only use shower, uh, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, but now my daughter wants to take a bath, and um, and I realize that uh, let's go fix this. So that's probably why it's hard for me to pull it out because that plunger is stuck onto that pipe. Okay, so um, now as you can see, it's move up and down uh, very freely. Okay, well a little wiggle little resistant but it's a lot way better than before okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave it up like that I'm gonna fill this tub up with water and I'm gonna test to see if I have to uh, readjust that uh, that uh, linkage okay so Okay, so I put this tub on, and it's right on top of that thing, okay? So that's my watermark. Come back 15 minutes later, and if it's still there, that means this thing is good to go. Okay, so it's been about 45 minutes, and uh, what I can tell, the water is still on top of that thing, okay? So there's no leaking, okay? I don't know if you can tell, but water just, I put it right where the water line up on top of that that drain plug there okay so it looks like it's whole what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip this and drain the water okay after all the water drained out sound pretty good what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, I'm going to take out these two screws and I'm going to put the white silicone on here to cover up this uh, imperfection and uh, put everything back in, okay? Okay, so again, all we use that screen and you working on here, okay? That way, just in case you drop the screw, it's, it's falling down and it's going to stay like that, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pull this out. So as you can see, this is easy to pull out compared to the first time I take it out, okay? Like so, okay. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take a, uh, I guess, crescent wrench and tie that thing up like that. Okay, just tie the nuts up. And now I'm gonna put this thing back, just like going fishing. Put this thing in the hole. Like so. Slide this thing all the way down, okay, and make sure that that full cover side facing up, okay. Bottom one is the uh, vent, okay, like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to align the two bolts. screwdriver okay so I'm gonna put my camera down and hold this up as I tighten it these screw tight I'm gonna put the coat of white silicone uh, just on this end 
to this end. Don't cover the bottom. Remember, the bottom have two vents. Okay, so don't cover it all the way around. It's from this end on this side of the screw, and you put it around to this end. Okay. Okay, this is the kind that I'm using because I simply have extra. Okay, but you can use any kind of silicone. Uh, this kind is white, so I cut the tip. And uh, I put a screwdriver in there and poke the hole, like so. Okay, there's a color of it. And I'm gonna load this up into this caulking gun here. Okay, so I'm gonna put this around this area to cover up this uh, imperfection, like so. I think that's enough. Rest some I'm gonna use my hand. Alright, so after you finish your artwork up here, okay, um that's it. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and then I'm gonna um clean up the tub, okay? Uh so the hardest part about this job is uh when when that when that brass piece stuck in the pipe like that, uh I thought I had to crawl underneath the uh the house and uh um, you know, um, disconnect the pipe and, uh, and, and go that route, but uh, I was surprised, apple cider vinegar, I just boil it, pour it in, and uh, about, you know, I leave it five minutes later, and I just, you know, use that extension to push it down, because it's, it's stuck in the up position, when this thing down, you know, it's like a seesaw, right, when this thing down on the inside, lift up like that, so, um, so it's stuck in the uh, open drain position, so um, I pour it in there and I just take that extension and I just um, kind of like knock it down. So once I feel it going down, I go, oh, I got it. And I just uh, wiggle it, wiggle it, and then it's all come out. Okay. So um, if, if, if you encountered that problem, uh, try apple cider vinegar to loosen up uh, that valve. Okay. I hope this video uh, helpful. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.